So what we might do is we just want to reduce that file size a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use handbrake. Is so there an ideal size it should be? Or? There's no ideal size because every video is different. You can have different graphics, you're going to have different um, length. Um, mm. So the file size you might find will vary a lot. Mm -hmm. um, if you re exported it in a higher resolution, then it may also be higher. I'm going to show you a program called Handbrake. So it's this little cocktail and pineapple here. Handbrake, mm -hmm. you can just Google Handbrake. Just go to Handbrake Downloads. And to get this program, you can download it for a Mac, you can download it for a PC and for a Linux computer. So what we're gonna do is we're going to import it into Handbrake and just click Open Source. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go on the desktop, which is where this video is saved. And we're gonna open it. And we want to save it as an mp4 file we're going to click web optimized as well so that actually reduces the file size quite a lot as well we're going to use one of the presets so if you go to web you can just select 1080 for video and then we just want to change um, the frame rate so what's the frame rate the frame rate is how many frames per second are there in each video. Right. In Australia, we have 25 frames per second, and you might find that the default is either 30 or 60, and that's because in America, they use a different electricity system, which means mm. that their frame rate is 30 per second. Mm -hmm. So we just need to change it to 25. How we're gonna do that is we're just going to go into the video tab here, and you can see the frame rate is selected there, and we're just gonna change that to 25 and you can see that it's PAL mm -hmm. and PAL is Australia, NTSC is America. Mm -hmm. So we'll click 25 and that's pretty much all we need to do. So mm -hmm. you can go back to the summary, you've got web optimized clicked, um, you've got the preset of Vimeo and we just changed the frame rate to 25 per second. Mm -hmm. The other thing you might want to change is audio. So if we go to audio, so at the moment it's set to stereo. I actually prefer mono and this is because if your students are listening to the video in one ear on the headphones, uh, they'll get the full, they'll, yeah, they'll get the yeah. full one, whereas stereo may not put all of the audio in one ear. Mm. So I always just select mono for that reason. We just need to check where we're actually going to export it to. We, maybe we want to save this video as something different just so we know which one is the one we just converted. So I'm just going to put final video. Uh, video final web mm -hmm. so that means that it's optimized for the web and then we just click start but if you're using your own vimeo account i think you only get 500 megabytes per week which isn't much and you're going to mm -hmm. find that that's going to get chewed up mm -hmm. so that's why i would go through this final through. compression step okay through handbrake through handbrake yeah yep. so after you've used imovie exported your video go into handbrake exactly mm -hmm. um we do want 1080 um because that is a really great resolution. And when you upload it to whichever video sharing platform you're using, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, or even Arc in Canvas, mm -hmm. then you might find that um, it actually comes up really well. Mm. Uh, whereas if you use a lower resolution, it might be a bit pixelated. And especially because your work, you're using Illustrator and they need to see the details mm. of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. it, it's always good to just have the option to have a higher resolution. Mm. Okay, so our final file has finished and we can just preview it and see what it looks like. So that still looks pretty good. The resolution mm. is Everyone, quite good. Today we're going to look at and still pretty uh, detailed. 